Hello there! I am but a humble delivery man, and I come bearing electricity. Fuck, this is the quickest this has gone south. All right, I'm just gonna be real with you. It's been a long week. Well, week for you, weeks for me. I've been reliving it over and over again. Just, uh, I've tried this, you don't listen. Damn it. Uh, okay, just, I'm not gonna tell you why, but when you see the orb, just don't touch it. It's gonna glow, it's gonna be bright. You're gonna want to touch it. Boy, fuck, do you wanna touch it? Honestly, I question your sanity at points. Are, are you like a moth? or something? It doesn't matter, I'm probably gonna have to have this conversation with you again, but feel free to prove me wrong. I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pre-Game Discharge, the only video game show where I swear to God, don't touch- Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order got a picture a motion graphic. Apparently they're going to be releasing new information about this game this weekend, but as of now, we just see a lightsaber. That's about it. Today, like any day, is a great day to be an American who likes to look at butt cracks. This is about video games, I swear. There's some scenes in Devil May Cry 5 where there are naked, exposed lady booties that sported an obnoxious butt crack covering lens flare. Well, it's a lucky day for the USA, because now we get to see them booty holes shine in the face figurative sense, not the literal one anymore. In the most unfortunate turn of events for Europeans since the Revolutionary War, the poo slots remain aglow overseas. Maybe when you invent voting, you can look at them. Fallout 76 got its first non-cosmetic microtransaction. You can now pay real money to fix things in this game, which is a statement that I realized the irony of literally as it came out of my mouth. To clarify, I mean you can buy repair kits to repair the in-game items. Nintendo may or may not be having a Nintendo Direct soon. And by soon, I mean probably maybe tomorrow or even today. I wouldn't know, not to belabor the point, but usually that far into the week, a certain somebody has already touched the orb. It would make sense as Reggie is officially leaving this week. Smash Bros has that character from Person 5 that's supposed to be coming out this month, probably on the day of the Nintendo Direct. And speaking of Smash Bros, they recently had a commercial for it that accidentally leaked the existence of a stage builder. Hearthstone got a new expansion called Rise of the Shadows, and I could attempt to describe it to you, but I would honestly have no idea what the hell I'd be saying. And if you actually care, you've probably looked into it anyway. But you know who does know? Kyle knows. Isn't that right, Kyle? He's grown up big and strong because he's eaten his vegetables. Dead or Alive 6 is getting online lobbies this week. If you've ever thought to yourself, I wish I could have a fighting game that has a crucial feature in it, you only have to wait a little while longer. They really can just get away with anything now, can't they? Hey, do you want to strap your Nintendo Switch to your face like a maniac and play Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild in air quotes VR? Because uh, that there's like a Nintendo Labo kit that does that. This this looks pretty similar to the technology used in the Google Cardboards or the Oculus phone VR things. I mean, my limited experience with that would best be described as an erotic tilt-a-whirl, so I don't know how a game camera following Mario around compares to a shaky-handed cameraman simulating intercourse, but I definitely do know which one has a better reward for tolerating the nausea. I'm Lyle Rath. And this has been Pre-Game Discharge. Come back next week, assuming there is one. I'm serious, do not touch it.